What's up, guys? I'm the Russell Gamer. Welcome back to Let's Play Battleship Bishojo right here on the arcade. In the last episode, we kind of questioned the Yanchiniko, and she kind of came to the conclusion that Daiki doesn't belong in this world, and, well, she's kind of on point. So, anyway, she also described a danger that's up to the north, a great danger that they've never faced before, so I wonder what that's all about. But, um, anyway, this was the last line in the last episode, so... <clears throat> I had no issue passing out this time. I woke on the ship, same as usual. Well, usually now, I guess. I wonder how many different ways I can say I woke up today. That whole near-death experience seems like a distant event somehow. Then again, when you meet a mermaid the size of a charter bus, things seem to go in different perspectives after a while. <coughs> Sorry, I'm trying to clear my throat. Kensu was relatively silent today. I went over to her and she said she was still charting out the next course. So this was one of those easygoing days I heard so much about. It'd be nice to get a break from all the off-the-wall off insanity we've been having lately. With that, I thought about my options and decided to visit. Hmm. So we can fit visit somebody. Let's visit the nurse. I should go check out what Miyoko d uh, does on days like this. I stepped over to the nurse's office and raised my fist to knock, only for the door to slowly open away from it. Yeah, well, that's not cliched or creepy at all. I peeked to pass to see Miyoko sorting through things. Honestly, it was the most normal and nurse-like I had seen her, aside from the encounter with Sophie. It was easy to forget that she was professional. At least, I thought she was professional anyway. Hey, Miyoko. Without missing a beat, she turned her head around towards me and smiled. Hey there, sailor. Do you need something? Oh, God. Oh, boy. Tell you what, let's save at this point. And we'll do both options. Let's try with... What happens when we say, yeah, you? Uh, yeah, you, actually. Oh, and why would that be? Well, you know, I just kind of wanted to see you, and... You ain't gonna get anywhere like that, sailor. Now, why don't we start again? Just pretend like I didn't see you. Oh, right. I stepped into the office and looked around. It's surprising how much this reminded me of just a normal doctor's office, considering I was on a ship with pirates in another dimension and all. So what do you usually do? Checkups usually. I do them every day for each and every lady on the ship, including Katsu herself. I'm surprised you haven't come in before, so I can get you all figured out. The only time I've had a chance to check you up is on the day you came aboard. Come, sit down. She patted the bench nearby and smiled, turning back towards her workstation. I did as I was told, sitting on the surprisingly uncomfortable seat. I watched her as she searched through drawers, bending over, dress raising dangerously high above on her waist. I smirked and tried to think of something to talk about. So what do you what do your checkups usually involve? What any other checkups involve, silly? She stood and then turned in place and pushed the thermometer towards my face. Uh -huh. Open wide. I did as I was told, just staring directly forward. It was a nice view, I couldn't lie. Just full on Yoko cleavage as she bent forward to hold the thermometer in place. I was pretty sure she took notice of my stares as she smiled, pulling the tool from my mouth and staring at the results. Normal. Alright, pants off. Uh, don't be silly, we need it. Uh, we need to check the prostate, don't we? Oh, come on, that's an, such an easy joke. Alright, fine, you got me. You're no fun sometimes, you know that? 
Hey, you're the one who said you'd be throwing off cats and catchers as having too much fun. I'm doing this for you. Oh, my hero. Yeah, how many times are we going to have this conversation? As many times as it takes, dear, blood flow, blood flow is an important thing to keep pumping. Yet another one of her famous winks. Did she expect me to take her seriously as a nurse or not? How did you even get on board this ship as a nurse anyways? The question caught her off guard. She froze in place, tapping the thermometer against her palm before setting it down on the drawers nearby. Did I really tell you that little story? I'm all ears. I don't have much else to do today. Oh, well, I don't feel special. Yeah, I didn't mean... Hush. Yeah, I'm more than happy to tell you a little story, Sailor, as long as you promise to remember it as best as you can. It's not as if everyone on this ship is, doesn't know or doesn't already know this. All right, I think I can manage that. Right, well, let's see. I suppose I should dig up the dirt. She sat on a, a nearby chair and crossed her legs. Way, way back when I was a young teenager, let's just say, well, things weren't panning out fantastically. My upbringing was rough. Same sob story you probably heard a million times before. Doesn't make it any less sad. I choose not to dwell on such things personally. To cut to the chase, it got so bad that, well, I contracted a disease. A bad one. Well, um, I was lucky mine was treatable. I was granted a visit to the doctor, and it was there that I saw a nurse. And she was beautiful. Granted, she didn't have a back like mine, but... She squeezed them together, sticking out her tongue. I was just in awe of how gorgeous she was working on such a high-class job as a nurse. So... So I decided to go to school. I was getting tired of the wildlife and wanted something more stable. Something less prone to diseases that could potentially ruin the rest of my life. I got lucky after all. So I went through college and at the end of those college years I had my degree. Wow. She beamed proudly. And with that I promised I would be a respected woman, the best in my field, despite my looks and my huge knockers. And, well, uh, she sulked. I didn't realize how difficult that would be. Not exactly the most simple thing to do. I can imagine. So, what happened? Well, to put it simply, I tended to flirt and, um... I never said I was perfect. Silence immediately hit after that. I could see tears glossing over her eyes. I recoiled, remaining silent, letting her collect herself. Needless to say, that sort of... Misconduct doesn't go very well with a professional career, or a small community for that matter. Eventually, word of my activities got out. Rightfully angered wives and girlfriends came after me and... Well, I was chased away from my home. I was lucky they spared me from tortures and pitchforks. She let out a weak laugh and looked to the side, brushing the hair from out in front of her face. I made it to the coast eventually, drove all the way there. Went to a local bar to drink away the pain, maybe hook up with some random guy and, well, you know. But instead, that's where I met Katsu. I was still in uniform, you see. She took notice and, well, gave me an offer I couldn't refuse. I figured a few years at sea away from any men would cure my urges in general. And did it? You tell me, sailor. Oh, uh, right. I sort of accepted that I always have these tendencies deep inside, just ingrained into my DNA or, or whatever. At the very least, I can learn to control it to, to some degree. That's where you've come in handy. Oh? Mm-hmm. So you weren't just teasing, you actually... You're one of the first males I've seen in months, dear. You do the math. Oh. Um, I didn't mean to deflate the ego, hun, but maybe that's for the best? She chuckled and stood, offering me her hand. I'll say one thing, you've been a joy to have around. It's been nice getting to know a man without treating him like a piece of meat to chew on. Uh, thanks? I guess we'll keep it to ourselves. It's not like you haven't chewed at all, Miyoko. I kept that thought to myself, however. You're welcome, hun. Now, was there anything else you needed? Not really. Do you want to... I don't know. 
talk? I'd be delighted. So that's what we did. We just sat in her office and talked about whatever. I told her about movies I had seen that she had never heard of and would likely never see. She told me about her encounters with strange and terrifying bees I would likely never encounter, not even on this journey. We laughed at both of us easing up. We talked about foods, interesting meals came up that she and I had never heard of. The fact that she never had pizza before was mildly worrying. During all of this, I can't remember her trying a single thing on me. Not a grasp of the thigh or a whisper to the ear. We just talked. Like people. It was nice. Don't get me wrong, flirting is fun and all. But I always enjoy getting to know people in general. After all this, I solemnly reminded myself that I would probably have to go home soon. So what we're going to do right now, guys, we're going to go ahead and call an episode, and when we come back to the arcade, we're going to check out our other options and see what the other girls were doing on this uh, very same day. So if you guys like this video, be sure you slam that like button, like a champ, and if you guys want to see more of uh, Battleship Me Shoujo right here on the arcade, you know the two ways you got to do it. You got to leg drop the subscribe button and hit that bell icon to turn on notifications so you guys will never miss out on another video right here on my channel. So with that being said, I'm your friendly neighborhood, Russell, here reminding all of you out there. Stay awesome. Bye, guys.